So the American shows were more for high entertainment. I, 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 I hear what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. But then there was the educational aspect of it. And then, of course, there was the state. Yeah, this was In state fact, yeah, run. Let's talk about now the local programming. Yes. Okay. So local programming, there was a lot of kids' shows. Children's show, children's variety, um, Joybringers. Joy, oh, Joybringers. Oh, I learned a lot of Christian content. Uh -huh. Sing and Shine, Joybringers with... Um, ah, what was the name of the host? Ah, just put the title. I, I can't remember yeah. the name of the host. With this guy, with this, yeah, with that, 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 with this guy. Yeah. yeah, that was the host. That was the host of Joy Bringers. Now, thank you very much. And uh, we would like to take a break now and ask John uh, Ndungu, who also happens to have been in the disco world, uh, but gave his life to Christ. And we'd like to ask him at this time to sing this song, Johanna, in his mother tongue, about the death of John the Baptist. And you see, the death of John the Baptist is different from the death of Jesus Christ. He was beheaded while Jesus was hung on the cross. He went there willingly to die for your sin and for my sin. So welcome, John Dunn. Uh, sing and shine. I mean, all of us can remember the song. So, I'll sing and shine in Canaan land. Um, that stuff used to come on Sunday. Then, um, but we were talking about the state-run programming. There was always the news, and the news always, always, without a doubt, began with the first, the first news item was always about Moi, always, without fail. You knew it was Sunday, and you knew you were going to church tomorrow, uh, to school tomorrow, because we were always being told what, what church Moi had gone to. <laughs> and he had the presi pres presidential press service following him everywhere. According to the law of this country, sir, we are supposed to submit the name of Daniel Toroitic Arakmoy, who is the president of the ruling party Kanu, to be the castle candidate of our party to you, sir.
order to show all Kenyans that I have firm faith and confidence in their determination to respect and promote our unity and stability, I have today released all detainees. Detention. All those who have been in detention are now at this very moment at their homes. Please note that that PPS, PPS. still follows Uhuru everywhere. Yeah, yeah. It's just that their content dissemination is a bit it's down. Not, it's not I've that said good. It. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, it, it's it's absolutely down. Yeah, no, there was a time it was. In terms of propagating an uh, an agenda and uniting a people, or in terms of using it for with a with a strong agenda, you're talking about we knew where Moi went to chat everywhere. What, what what did we know that? Who even his social media pages are not even existing <laughs> right now? But I, 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 I guess because he doesn't need to. We've gotten to that point where I think we've all been. But we've all if been. If you can shape minds of anybody, you yeah. always need to. Yeah, but I, I think part, they, the found ways. they found they found ways other than that because broadcast media has changed so much. Back then, broadcast media is all we had. Uh, so we had. Let, let's talk about radio. We had two stations: General Service and Kiswahili Service. I, I think it was called Idaya Taifa. English Service was on frequency AM. It, this is before. It was M, M, <laughs> MW SW medium wave short wave. You had your MW SW FM came much. Much it came much later on. It was in the nineties. FM was a nineties. FM was an explosion. Basically, that's when other people, other players entered. Yes, when and, FM and entered. When FM entered, and that was in ninety five. This is nineteen ninety five. Up until then, we had a general service, English service, seven forty seven on your dial, and then Kisaini service six twelve gotcha. on your dial. Those are the frequencies. <laughs> that's so, in terms of state, aside, okay, now we we aside. Moy's routine and Moy's, um, I call it digital reflection, basically saying whatever Moy was doing, we're being shown on, on TV. Whatever Moy was doing, we were doing together. Yes. Yeah. What else did local programming have? Mm. What well, aside, we aside from the children's shows, oh, there was there was music shows. There was, you know, there was variety to it. V- Vyoto Makamani, is that? Oh, of course. How do I forget? Of course, there was comedy shows. There was a local comedy shows. So Vitimbi. Uh, Vyoja Mahakamani. Those are the two famous ones. Vitimbi came earlier on, and Vitimbi was simply, you know, Babakai, Mamakai, Masaku, yes. Otorongongo. Uh-huh. Um, and it was just antics around this little small restaurant that was owned by Ojoang and Mamakai. They owned a little restaurant, and the number of people who'd come in and eat and have conversations with them was different. And they'd get on up to all these antics. It Please, was, it was, let me ask. Your very definition of a situation comedy. It was like a sitcom. Wewe ni ndugu yangu. Tena ile kidogo. Na nimeona kabisa wewe takuja hata kuharibu kwa nyumba yangu. Wewe takuja ania mimi mama Kayai nafanya nafanya alafu tena wewe narudi narudi kwake. Eh, mzee nafanya nafanya alafu sisi nakuja hapa yeye na kashirika na mimi nakashirika kwa sababu yako. Ya fitina hiyo inaitwa hmm. fitina. Na hata wewe masaku ni mtu mbaya sana. Juzi tumewatu ndani mliposhikwa na mambo yenu ya uganga. Na tena leo unataka kutugeuka tu ushikane na ukechi uende masaku. Kwani wewe uwezi kufikiria mpaka umfatane na, na mambo ile ume tuafitina na ukechi? Bas, mama kaya hii eh? iko namna hii. Wewe kutoka leo hapana ingia hapa, hapana kuja kwangu. Kama maneno kubwa yanatokea, pigia mimi simu. Toka. Sikilizo. Na wewe eh? hata huyu mwambie amfuate ukechi. Okay. Na wewe ni bila nilindanganya hapa niambia ni mse. Fuata bosi yako na Musee sasa ni unani Musee hata ule mfanyikazi wa nyumbani kiberenge alienda kwa nini Kwa sababu ya huyu Sekilisa Musee hii maneno yupi ile leto hii hii maliwasi ndo naleta wewe najua yapendagi mimi Mimi nilikuwa nataka kutengeneza football team yetu Alafu sisi naendelea Sasa football inatokea wapi Sasa wewe maliwasi wewe napindua tu mimi nasema mgomo Na nasema mgomo Hiza oketi hiyo ni hali ya kutaka kuchochea Unakuja unamweka masaku fitina una huku unamdanganya tio juang ndo amesema Na hakuna chochote kitu kwa would you say those are the bath before that was there anybody or is that the Not genesis that I know. is that the genesis from your perception of tv in M- terms of sitcoms mine yes local sitcoms yes absolutely that's where it started Whoa. and they were all shot at kbc studios 
Oh. It was all shot on location at KBC Studio. So you knew what that studio looked like. And here's another thing. Whenever there was music festivals and theater festivals, the the Kenya the, the what is it called? Drama festival, sorry, not theater festival. The oh. drama festivals. The 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 Kenya wide one. The winners would go and perform for in MO1. Those are the two rites of passage. After you won, you went and performed for MO1 in Kabarak for Moi. And then after that, you went to KBC and they filmed your whole play. That's and it would become programming that was incorporated into. So you and we had continuity announcers. Your continu- continuity continuity announcers. People who before every show would be like and up next is and they'll be filmed in the studio seated at the table well dressed and up next is a tv program called remington steel and in this episode remington does this that or the other <laughs> so if it came to drama of music festivals it'd be like now we're going to watch the finalists of the kenya national music festival that's what it's called um including students from this school um and then we'd be treated to those performances which were all filmed in studio then there was education shows with the uh, inter school quizzes so the public schools would go against each other whether it was uh, skills and uh, uh, um knowledge skills so kids would be quizzed about everything from ghc geography history uh, civics uh, science cre christian religious education english kiswahili math and they'd go against each other So good evening I'm, I'm this this um, my name is this and this from this school in this division good evening viewers and there was a quiz master who would ask the questions back and forth and there was an actual it was like Kenya's got academic talent that was what it was like so you had the primary schools quiz that's what it was called the inter primary schools quiz and then there was the inter primary schools debate where people would come and debate issues either in English or Swahili where we'd get the phrases like I want to come here firm, you know, firm <laughs> as a rock, brave as a lion, to strongly oppose the motion that has been placed by my um by my uh, Col- by opponent. Yes. By my opponent stating that boarding schools are better than primary schools. And then would say um and now to my points. So they would start pingaing the points of the opponent and then also we had it in Kiswahili. Sasa ni mbele small mbele yenu. Um I uh, like they would be like now what is it now about the opponent anyway when people talk about kuvuka sakafu kwa mwendo wa aste aste ili to ping it that la who said now and you know then they'd go into the motion it was a motion so that was the kind of program it was very richy and see it was it wasn't it was a guess what the production values weren't high but there was an intentionality to everything in fact that, that's that's my my hearing from what you're saying is it was so intentional yes. from a state perspective mm-hmm. of this is the kind of people we want to churn out mm-hmm. from them understanding I, I i hate to bring in isikal mutua in here but for them understanding that content has a power <laughs> <laughs> and we'll talk about him later on <laughs> but content has a power to shape and transform minds and thinking minds. and so, an identity an identity so mm. let us therefore create this kind of content yeah. put this kind of content out yeah, yeah and also let's be honest when i think of the ntvs the ktns how many of them are doing in-house s- sitcoms yeah not many if I, I mean like in house all of them are buying they're buying yeah, they're yeah, all buying they're commissioning and they're buying, all commissioning yeah. and buying. And but for that set up studio space to shoot your own stuff no that's not happening now. I mean there's yeah. been a degrade in that sense yeah. of course there's there's been there's been we're not being agendaed as much as possible mm. there's been more we've moved into capitalism where it's most I mean commercial commercialization that's where true. it's more about the money yes exactly and that's a big difference now the 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 thing the thing back then was let's entertain. And and, and your your drama kamanis and your vitimbis are not the only shows that were shot on location. Mm-hmm. There was Vituko. Wow wow wow. wow, uh, wow and wow. Vituko always had a lesson behind it. Vituko was always the same it was the same <laughs> setup, the same story arc from from a writer's perspective because all, again yes. Mugash is also a film writer. Yes. From a writer's perspective. <laughs> the, the the arc was always the same. It always started with someone sweeping the house always. Always Vituko I can't remember the starting song for Vituko but Vituko would begin and someone would always be sweeping the house always at the beginning once the credits the credits would always be title cards and it would be title cards on a spinning this is before digital dude they had a person who would come and paint or write 
like paint or use a stencil to paint the title mm -hmm. of the program and it was on like a spinning like carousel yes. thing like man dude no. I know I'm we're going really technical here let's go technical but it was me. like imagine this is your camera and you have a board that's on a rotating uh, you have ferris like probably 12 sort. boards it's like a it's sort of like a ferris wheel yeah. but you have boards on a like a huge like hexagon type thing yeah so you'd have someone at the back feeding in Ooh. the boards that you see so they've been painted and you put the board in and you had someone now with a sort of yeah like pulling every yeah. so every title was on its own board so it would be to the camera to the camera that and the camera would film this and that would form your opening titles because there was nothing digital then there's no there's no graphic animation no 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 there's not no at motion that point. graphics no we didn't have the motion graphics at least not for these low budget local shows so vituko would start with that and it would be kbc ama vok yakuletea that was one nini and then it would go to vituko and then they'd probably talk about the creators of the show or the crew that were filming it and after you saw that then you fade out of that into the action itself and it always started with a lady sweeping and singing like a christian song like always <laughs> and then someone would come in and then the action would start oh baba nani umefika eh mefika you know, it was like that and then there'd always be your patriarch your your uh, patriarchal figure your fatherly figure and then your matriarchal figure oh my those God. are the those are the those are the wisdom people those are the ones who are always right they were, they were the wisdom. Then you had your younger people and then now and the younger people are almost always the troublemakers mm -hmm. and they get up to these antics. So for instance, that is so powerful. One person decides, "Oh, you know what? I'm not making enough money. I will start conning people. And how will I con them? I'll pray for them. I'll pray for them and tell them that here's an envelope with money. Um no, well, how much money do you have? Give me 50 bob. I'll pray for it and after you pray for it, it will be 100 bob." And then funga macho wacha tuombe the person will pray give you back a hundred bob and the person will be like oh my god and then <laughs> and then the guy would be like now give me because you know the currency wasn't big then so he'd be like really give me 200 bob and that's a lot of money and then he'd be given the 200 bob and run away <laughs> and then he'd get caught by the cops and vituko the reason it was called vituko vituko is like issues like vituko is like Mm -hmm. like what vitukos are going on now what tea is being served so the antics would almost always fail and then your patriarchal and matriarchal figure would come and be like what did we tell you we told you you'd get into trouble you'd get caught and vituko always ended with an argument always ended with an argument so after the argument everyone would be talking everyone would be talking i told you you'd get into trouble or your spoiled kid came and broke our glasses and threw his food all over the place what did you tell you about raising a child this is what you need to do to raise a child your child and under discipline your child that sort of thing and in the middle of that when the lesson has been served then the credits roll that is so okay that, that, that was simple let me let me throw this in just for guys watching this mm -hmm. um i recently had a conversation with kanyotu lee mm. and kevin kanyotu's father and he's actually going to come on the playhouse he is 70 something years old and he was actually in the found, the beginning pioneering days of KBC. So what you're talking about now, he was part of the people who com yes. who, com who internally commissioned yes. content creation. Yes. And he went to San Diego to learn about filmmaking. Oh, that's amazing. Do you get? So yeah. so when I'm hearing you say this, I'm connecting it to what he's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, how agenda driven? Mm. and how strategic and intentional in fact mm. the word is intentional yeah. was our content creation and our content distribution at that time a distribution was a no brainer okay yeah. yeah you had you had the state broadcaster anyone who went up there like Richie, if, if you ended up on the news or you ended up giving flowers to Moana and your rep you are freaking celebrity <laughs> the next day what everyone you mean, knew you i remember i remember when i was a kid saying my happy birthday my folks put my happy birthday message yo that like, must have been big time like they just happy birthday yeah, 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 yeah. happy birthday richard chao <laughs> this is your you day you are 11 years old now oh, like gosh. that would make your world because we had to a generation watching this who don't may not understand why we're dwelling so much on this mm -hmm. this is how life was mm. when you had only one place of finding content that's true at least broadcast content. Broadcast you had your TV and your radio. Okay. And you had your newspaper. Let's go to your radio and then we let's go no. a bit to the radio and then we go back to your 
Oh no, let's. Like, I, I want to finish up about TV though, oh, nice. because another There's big, more. another big, another big. Uh, so, so like I said, you, you had Vituko, which now taught a lot of life issues. Uh, you had Plot Ten, you had Tushariane, and Tushariane was the closest we got for to. Like, what are we seeing? What 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 on earth is this? You have these young, young by every definition, good-looking Kenyan people. Uh, we had people like um, Tony Salame on the show. Let me just say this. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys, that is so... You're talking about Grace Msalame's father. Yes. Who ended up, you know, having a really uh, illustrious career on radio. Yes. Yeah, on Metro FM and then starting his own shaky leg. Yeah, How old are you and why do you remember this, Mogash? Because it's what we had. It's what we grew up in. How old are you at this time? When Tushariani came out, I think I was like eight. Okay. Eight or nine. It came out to 90, 90, uh, sorry, 80, not 90, 87, <laughs> 88, 89. There was Esther, there was Joe Dennis. Those are the three people we knew. Dennis was played by 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 by, by Tony Salame. I can't remember who played Esther, but we always used to find her so beautiful. Um, and there was another dude. I think his name was Dennis Cashero. He was the one who used to play the role of Joe. And Joe was the bad boy. Like, And to Shariani, everyone watched to Shariani. It was prime time. It was Sunday. And it was shot on location. It was not in a studio. Remember, a lot of this stuff was shot in studio at the KBC studios. They had the lights. They had the cameras there on their stands. But this one was shot on location, meaning you went out of the studio wow, wow. and you had people in real rooms. And that was pretty new because we're like, Hold up, this has been taken out of the studio. This is an actual room. That's someone actually walking down the street. That's, and it had drama to it, it had a soundtrack. Like anyone from that era will remember. Yeah, that's where it came from. That's where it came from. That came from to Shauriane. I knew it, but I didn't know where it came from. When you hear people singing, we learned that from TV, from Kenyan TV. Oh my God. I don't know where they got that piece of music from, but that was Shariane. Yes, yes, and then it was dramatic, dramatic stuff for the most undramatic scenes. Like I said, the production values weren't very high. Then later on, that was that's what paved the way for Tausi, Tahamaki shows shows shot off location. But what I want to talk about was the news. We we'll talk, we'll talk about press, okay. presidential press service. Like I said, every single. Every single news broadcast started with something about the president. So we as kids would be like, um, uh, once the news started, we'd be like, Wuni butasari wabari kutoka sauti ya Kenya, karibuni, jina langu ni hamisi tempo. Mtukufu rais Daniel Toroitich, Arab Moy, Leo Ali, and then if he was at the show, if he said this, that or the other, MO1 was always the number one. MO1's reports were the only ones that were in color and had sound. That and the international news. What? That's, that pres presidential press service had the cameras, had the sound equipment to shoot on color and take stuff because you had to hear what your president was saying. So you'd have to go and they'd have the, the two, 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 two mics, the little two microphones with the KBC or the VOK logo on it put on, this, on the stand. And we were told this is what M1 had to say. And even if they paid a lot of attention to what was happening in the country, your local and international news, weather forecast, and commentary, because there was commentary, were all done in half an hour. The news was pretty efficient. Everything. Everything we need to tell you about, what you need to learn about the days, done in half an hour. So there was M1's bit, then there was the local news. The local news was not shot on, on tape. It wasn't shot on tape. Um, it was largely shot on film stock, very old film stock, film stock that they would rewind and rewind and rewind and rewind all the time. Propaganda. Or they had old tapes. So, M1's news was always clean and crisp and pristine and you could hear what he was saying. But if a chief had commissioned a borehole, if M1 was building gabions, I don't know, 80s remember kids gabions. will always remember M1 <laughs> building gabions. gabions. Yeah, taking, taking these two stones. Erosion, to yes, because to prevent, to prevent gally erosion. Hey, Sorry. Sorry. No, 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 so you take the stones and they'd form a, like a human chain of people and they'd be tossing stones up the hill and throwing them into the two gabions and then seal the gabions to prevent the erosion from happening. Because all of us knew Upangaji wa Uzazi, Monyoko wa Udongo, 
<laughs> just this, a lot of very government centric programming can I ask a, okay, no, go then ahead. when you went into like the chief commissioning a school or a well or a borehole or something it was almost always silent because they weren't recording sound until much later on mm -hmm. and it was in very grainy very unclear black and white so you had your local news starting with mo1s nice black and white or color good sound and then you went into black and white stuff shot on film stock and then you went into the international news and the international news was always again full color full nini but so what does that tell you as a viewer that mo1 because he's in nice color and when you go into the international uh, news yeah. and you're seeing Ro ronald reagan and and gorbachev and all these other people making the news at that point in color as well then you equated that importance and i think you didn't know any film when you went to watch film a film let's say you were going to watch superman in the cinemas and i remember the cinema was basic road fox driving that was one of them <laughs> those nairobi nairobi cinema kenya cinema we had a lot of cinemas bishan cinema rainbow cinema which was in nairobi west shan cinema i think was in ngara which is now what is sarakasi now that was a cinema yeah sarakasi used to be a cinema it was a cinema before uh, there was uh, what was the one that was on Eastland Cinema. Eastland Cinema was on those sides of Buronjo Road, and then there are the ones that now, as cinema now was making its way out as home entertainment was building, they descended into six movies for one ticket. But that was also a cinema on its own. Then there was Bellevue Drive-In. Those were our two drive-in cinemas: Fox Drive-In on Thika Road, Bellevue on Mombasa Road. There were cinemas everywhere. But every single film that you went to see was preceded by what was called a newsreel. And this was news again by the presidential press service, but on steroids, because this was shot on film. And it was shot on, pre like this was shot on clean film. Uh -huh. So you're seeing that film grain and you're seeing MO1 going and commissioning a well or, or opening up this, that or the other. And it was shot like film with a white narrator. Ah, you're joking. I'm a not British, joking. British accent. A British white narrator. Because they were borrowing, they were borrowing the newsreels that you, you know, like if stuff was being reported back to the empire about, the empire being Britain now, about their, their going on in what would become the commonwealth countries. But anyway, in their colonies. They sent back this information with music playing underneath and be like, um... And on to what Governor Baring is yeah. doing in Imperial East Africa. He was seen in Nairobi, da 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 da, and then there was this upbeat music playing yeah. underneath. So they they took that go very the same model. Understand exactly oh, yeah, what okay, doing. yeah, go watch it to see. Go watch the crowd on Netflix. <laughs> but this is exactly what they were doing at the cinemas. So before you watched the movie, um, whereas we'd watch trailers now, you watched a newsreel. And the newsreel had about five probably five seven minutes of what m1 has been doing now shot on film with that music playing underneath with this white narrator the state was everything L let me let me let me man mugashwa you <laughs> i love you, you for, for, for when <laughs> you take you. conversations you man <laughs> because you're educating us on something that we don't know including me who was born in that area I'm born one year after you but mm. i didn't understand why a lot of things were being done the way they're being done that, actually right. to be honest i didn't even question mm. it was just the norm that i found growing up yeah, yeah but what i'm coming to understand is first of all the the kenyans copied a lot of what the british did in terms of world war one when the wars happened the movie theaters as well would report what's happening in the war yeah, 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 yeah. you get yeah. so on that narrative i'm sort of understanding that yeah but secondly very importantly there was a coup there was somebody who tried to kill the president yeah, at the time. Yeah, the president, yeah. And the president, Daniel Tarutich Arab Moy. Mm -hmm. So he kicked even him into gear nine. Um, and probably this is why the state agenda became so yeah. mugabe -ish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's true. You're very right. Yeah. Because and, and, when, and, when he assumed power, they were like, yo, first of all, who's this dude? Yeah, he's the vice president, quite soft spoken. Doesn't really did, have did he didn't even fight for us for independence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like who's no. this dude? And he was like, guys, also, I want you. He's from a different tribe. And you, of course, there was a tribal aspect. Yeah. And he was like, you guys, I, my only intention when I'm in power is to follow the footsteps of the founding father, Kufata Nyayo. And mm. that's when the whole Nyayo thing started. So 
of course after 1982 he had to make himself look larger than life uh -huh. and that's why he took the propaganda to the cinemas and M1 was everywhere he was everywhere uh, M1 and Kano <laughs> so all these songs praising the government and praising Moi were songs that we learned they'd commission choirs if we're talking about content generation there was uh, one of the popular shows was the two choir shows uh -huh. there was Nimbo Zadini was it Nimbo Zadini? I think it was Nimbo Zadini there was like Nimbo Zadini and Nimbo Zakimataifa, something like that. I can't uh -huh. remember what. But one of them was actual choirs from all over. Here is the prison choir, here is Mumia's sugar choir, here is Ju Wat Wat choir. And all these companies would have like a choir after, after hours activity. People would be singing songs. And a lot of them would be in praise of the government. So you'd have a, a, a choir from Western, for instance, coming to sing a song that they were composed and that, that was composed by the choir conductor. And they would be like, okay, one, two, three. Sibita Lisa Ongezeka. Sibita Lisa Ongezeka. Kwa sababu yake moi. And they would be praising moi. Dude, this is the stuff you grow up Let me also say this. Yeah. To understand more about choirs, watch the person who we've just finished, Kaberia. Because he ah. was in church, in prison choirs. What? He was actually part of someone from prison square. He was part of, he was part of somebody who interacted the prison squares in um, Nyeri. And Nyeri is where the the um, ka, ka, anyway, I've forgotten it, but he was in Yo, it. Dude, Just watch prison the square. Square. prison square was the deal. But let me the third thing that I said. Mm -hmm. So I mean the first thing was I mean copying the British, so bringing yeah. agenda into cinemas because cinemas is a pop. It's pop culture. Mm, it that's where the youth are, that's where yeah. all our dads are. All those yeah, 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 yeah. Then yeah. secondly, there's the fact that there's a coup. But thirdly, people need to understand this. The cameras that I'm using to shoot you right now, mm -hmm. which are Canon 5Ds, Canon 7Ds, whatever, mm -hmm. this were not the... For, for you to shoot the president, yeah, the yeah. camera probably need to be put on a truck, one camera. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? There mm -hmm. were heavy things. It wasn't, mm -hmm. it wasn't a thing that could quickly and instantly be deployed to capture content footage no 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 uh, in a different location yeah, yeah, yeah. especially with sound capturing sound you yeah. capture video on its own and sound on, sound its, on its own putting the two to together yeah. is a whole different story yeah, 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 yeah. so of course and all that had to be ready before 7 pm uh -huh. yeah, yeah yeah so so P P pps was those guys were on point and then of course there was a film crew unit yeah. The ones would have to film M1 for the newsreel. And they didn't go everywhere with him. They just go to the special ones that had some sort of international appeal. Okay. Because the newsreels were not just a Kenyan thing. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm sure other countries also had their own. Yeah, they Pan-African. Pan it was part of a Pan-African agenda. agenda. Yeah. Okay. The whole reason why we started this, we went on yeah. this rabbit it's hole it's for... It's for, gone for, gone <laughs> on a rabbit hole. A rabbit hole for understanding the history of Kenyan TV, which I love. Because you're in film, you're in movies, we're going to get there. Yeah. Uh, you're just laying the foundation in terms yes. of how you came. That's it's exactly because of your uncle. Doing. Yeah. Let's oh, yes. <laughs> oh, for, okay. So, so what I've described <laughs> in these many, many minutes was what the was what the entertainment offerings were like. Now, we still did not have home video. Home video still wasn't a thing. If you wanted to be entertained, and a lot of people ask now about why people aren't attending the theaters anymore, they're not going to the cinemas as much. These are two art forms that were built in times or that became popular in times of minimal choice and options. You had your radio. There was a time that people would sit around the radio, like they were sitting around the TV, to listen to someone narrate stories like War of the Worlds. Then that became television, which is a broadcast medium that again we sat down. Let me even Dad had you. his chair. Before that, yeah. do you know what used to make people go to restaurants in this two, two five, four of hours? Oh, jukebox. Yeah, juke yeah, yes, of course. Like the only place yeah, yeah. you would have music. You don't was even have radio. Went, yeah. was a jukebox. Yes, 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 yes. Because we didn't have a because because, we didn't have a because, DJ. Yeah, and our phones, and then they were not phones at that time, they were the records were yeah, yeah. for the, the LPs, super prestige the, yeah, not the even vinyls. LPs before, yeah the vinyls yeah, the yeah. small ones were for the elite yes yes they were and then they started sort of getting mainstream because i remember yes. my my granddad for instance had uh i think it was a national it was a brand national and they came in a box a little box that had everything it had the phonograph it had the radio receiver yeah. and you put the your lp on there and you played your lp and even the car power cord the power cord was in there you connected it at the back yeah. or you could use batteries and it used like four 
size D batteries. That's when, you know, entertainment was really coming home. But back then still, if you really wanted a wide variety, you had to go to the cinema or you'd go to the open air screening in your neighborhood because those used to happen as well. Mm -hmm. And they'd show a lot of Kung Fu movies and stuff. Um, but then home video became a thing because people started buying these strange contraptions called VCRs. And video recording? Vi video cassette Press. recorder or player. Okay. Yeah. And uh, these things called video libraries showed up where you had these bright color coded tapes on windows where you went and picked them out like a library and said i want this and that and that and they were color coded <laughs> green, uh, green bright yellow <laughs> yeah green bright yellow orange red red you knew do not touch that one you're near wazazi uh, yellow orange were okay blue i can't remember but um Home, home, home video became a thing, but there still wasn't that many sources for home video content mm -hmm. because people would have to dub them from... Uh, a lot of people were flying in their own VHSs from other countries. A lot of people were recording them from other sources. I don't know which ones. But my uncle comes with about three suitcases of video cassettes, Ooh. all dubbed in long play, all American system. So we couldn't watch them anywhere other than his house because he had a video, a VCR that would play American system cassettes. Ex I know this is going to sound again crazy. Slow you down. Oh, sorry. Long play, short play. Explain the difference. Oh, wow. Okay. You, you know, imagine imagine somebody who's digital hearing okay. long play. You know, what you're saying is foreign. Yeah, it's, okay. I hope there's people that can understand. Uh, back then when people were recording stuff onto video cassette tapes, you could do it in two ways. The average length that a video cassette could take, the average content uh, from beginning to end was 180 minutes, three hours. And that's if you dubbed it in short play. Some Hold people on, call Bukash, it short play or standard play. Don't you have videos? Don't you have cassettes here? I do. Do you want me to grab one? Grab yeah, sure. I have one. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be back. Let me get it. <laughs>